Hello, everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah and Oscar. He was in the room, so he is on the video first thing today. Isn't he adorable? Oh, my goodness. He is too adorable for words. But, uh, yeah. Hi. He's looking at me like, please put me down, Mama. I was napping. See, toe beans. You even get to see toe beans first thing in the video today. And there'll be some pictures afterwards, too, because he was being incredibly adorable this morning. And now he's biting me. Ow, no chomping. No chomping, Mama. Down you go. Anyway, this is the Saturday vloggy thing. If you're new here, welcome in. This is where I sort of recap what's been happening in my life for the whole week, plus some crochet stuff, yarn stuff in general, and all that good stuff. And if you've been here, if you've been here before, my mouth is not working today. Welcome back to the madness. Another wet hair don't care day. Yeah, that happened. Uh, wow, it's been quite a week. I was expecting to put out my usual videos this week. I really was. But then we decided to do things differently at the house. That's right. I've been off work all week long. And it was my hubby's birthday this week. And I've seen many different, you know, happy birthday to the hand kind of things, which is really cool. Thank you. He appreciates that. So we decided just to run the roads all week. And we have a hybrid now. So it's a little bit cheaper on the gas. And plus, you know, this is like instead of us going on an actual vacation, uh, we went to Atlanta or the Atlanta area. We went to Greenville. We ate at all the places and shopped at some places. And it was just a nice, fun week. So now I'm back and I have to get settled back in for the whole work thing. Yes. I uh, will have an announcement about work stuff next week, but I can't say it right now because it's still v but it is good news. Yes. Anyway, enough about that. Oh, want to give you a reminder. I made myself a little reminder right here. Y'all know that the 50 for you, 50 for me by Miss Katrina at Mindful Crafts and More is still going on. Uh, the drawing will be held for the semifinalists on my channel and all the other channels participating on August 19th. So you still have some time to get in there so long as you're watching this before August 19th. Link will be up there somewhere down below all the places. You know the drill. Now, as for things, I did purchase something that had nothing to do with going out and shopping and purchasing something. Um, I have been using a Pixel 3a, which um, is over three years old. So it just stopped getting security updates and stuff. It was still working fine, but it was totally full and didn't have enough storage and blah, blah, blah. Love the phone. I was, that's all what all my videos are drawn on. But there was a sale. Oh, yes, the heavens open up and the light shines down. And yes, a sale. Not only was it a good price for the brand new just launched Pixel 6a. I can't show you the actual phone because I'm recording on it. Um, but they had a deal where you also get $300 credit on your traded in phone. What? So yeah, so the phone's essentially costing me less than $200. $150, something like that. So yeah, absolutely. I'm taking a brand new smartphone. It's not the flagship six, you know, which has all the, the super whamadine stuff, but it is so close. It really is so close. Um, there are a few small things that are different about it. Things I don't care about. If you get the pro, that's another thing entirely that like has some super whamadine stuff. And if you do like high end photography, but you don't want to use an, an actual high end camera, you can use that. Yeah, they have some great stuff. But I did get the green one. It's called Sage. Sorry, I've never ordered anything green in my life. But I wanted it to be different than my last one. So it looks just like this. Only I have pretty much an, an identical, but for this model phone, not my other model phone, of the case that I had on it before, which is a clear case. Because it makes it easier to grip. These things are so slick. I had it in my hand. We were setting it up. I'm like, I'm dropping it. I can't hold it. You know, butterfingers and all of that because they really do. They're so slick. But with this case that I have on it now, it's got a little more grip to it and it's got a, just enough cushion on it so that when I do drop it, it's got, you know, little protective stuff on it. The only bad thing 
about this phone is that the new medical device that I got, the CGM, the co constant glucose monitor, um, the software was fine for the Pixel 3. It hasn't been re released for the Pixel 6 yet. You cannot put the software on it to use this as your sole device monitor. Luckily, I do have the little doodah that came with it. You know, like this. I just pushed the button so it would light up. And yeah, but the thing is, it has to be within 20 feet of you pretty much at all times because it's a Bluetooth device. Um, and 20 feet is loose. I mean, I've, I can do it all over the house. But you know, sometimes I don't have pockets and I'm walking around the house and I'm doing stuff and I'm like in the laundry room and then it will start beeping from the other room and going, we can't find you, beep, beep, beep. Oh no, the world is ending. Yeah, so I decided to uh, bust out the crochet hook yesterday after setting up my phone the day before and doing this. This is this yarn right here, which I have made a bucket hat out of, if I remember. It was one of the Crystal Bag of Day bucket hats that I made with this yarn. Rewind tape yarn. I have a bunch of it that I had gotten in mystery bags um, from Line Brand. And it pulls from the center very nicely. I know you look at it and you go, how do you crochet with that? Dude, very easily. I don't even know what size hook it says to use because the print is so tiny. I can't read it. Um, oh, okay. Six and a half millimeter. I finally figured out I could focus on it, but I had a six millimeter hook. So that's what I used. And I did this. There is no pattern. This is considered a, well, it's a hundred gram ball. And there's still plenty, plenty left. This was a fresh ball when I opened it. 100 grams, 200 meters. It's a bulky five. It's machine washable. I don't know if it's machine dryable or no. Machine wash, lay flat to dry. Whatever. But it is so soft. You wouldn't think a tape yarn would be so soft. It is incredibly soft. And because of the nature of it, there is no splitting. Zero. Now they show the pattern on it to be like a sweater, like a top which would be kind of cool to make. <clears throat> I've made a bucket hat out of this, and now I've made my little device holder. I wanted to, and you know what the worst part of making this was? This dadgum strap. It wasn't difficult. It just seemed to take a million and a half years. Yes, I did this in one day. It still seemed to take a million and a half years, like this. And I started off with, uh, I just did single crochets. Everything is in the round. Yes, it's kind of wonky. No, I don't care. And then I did um, half double chain one, half double chain one, the rest of the way around there because I don't care that it has some little openings. But I also did a flap to flap over and put a button and there's a button there. And then I did the straps. There was zero sewing on this except for the button. I did this all in one continuous thing. I was like, I don't wanna have to basically sew anything together. So yeah, I started at the bottom, did the thing. I am happy with it. I could just put it on and I made it long enough to where it would be crossbody because I can't stand to wear something just around my neck. That's just a personal preference of mine. And uh, it hangs here and no, you can't really see it. <laughs> it just kind of hangs and it's stretchy a little bit, of course, and it's soft and it's wonderful. And it's close enough now that I can just toss it over there and not worry about wearing it. I just wanted to show it. So yeah, a little bit of crochet going there. Had some happy mail this week that I was definitely not expecting. Um, yeah. Okay, a little backstory. First, I had won a, uh, a Wool Warehouse gift card from Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. So I am ordering something and I added it like it wasn't just the gift card because I had to get all, you know, extra. <laughs> I have ordered some, some Malabrigo yarn and I'm going to be making a thing. I bought a pattern and everything. I mean, whoa, I will be showing that when everything comes in, I will show it and tell you what I'm going to be doing with it. But I ordered it. And then like 15 minutes later, we left the house and we were, you know, heading down the road, going somewhere. And we checked the mailbox on the way out because, you know, long driveway mailboxes by the road. In the mailbox, it's something that looks a little something like this. Okay, and I'm like, 
That looks like yarn. What? So I pulled it out of the box and I'm like, oh, don't drive off yet. I got to see what this is, you know. So I opened, I said, well, wow, it's from Wool Warehouse. And then I had to do like a little, like, whoa, what's happening with my brain? I know I just placed an order 15 minutes ago. They're fast. They're not that fast. Okay. So there was that. So I open it up and I see, ooh, beautiful, beautiful blue yarn. This is gorgeous. I have to find the... And I finally dug down and then I found, you know, the slip of papery stuff that comes with it. First, let me tell you before I show off the yarn a little bit. Well, Warehouse! And it is from Miss Lisa Ladybird. I was thinking a tickled, okay? Not only because this is some cool stuff, because the color is beautiful, because I wasn't expecting it at all. Lisa, what are you doing, woman? Look at this. Five skeins, five of this 100 gram style craft. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Uh, it's called Royal because of course it is. That is a Royal Blue if there ever was one. It's DK, which I love working with DK. Yes, I do. And it is soft. It is anti-pilling. And I have not decided what I'm going to make with this yet because this, my goodness, 500 grams and each, it's about 295 meters per ball. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. What am I going to make? It's going to be beautiful and blue. I can tell you that. I adore this color. This, and I keep, I just keep rubbing on it because it's so soft. I've had it sitting here in the bag, not wanting to fool with it too much because I knew that I would. And of course, Wool Warehouse, you can get it with your lovely organza bag. Look. Ah! Yarns. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. Oh, by the way, this says it takes a four millimeter hook. Washable, dryable, cool iron. I've never heard of anybody ironing yarn, but whatever. Um, it's 100% acrylic, isn't it? How can you iron acrylic? How does that even work? What? I'm pretty sure it's acrylic. Super, super soft. And I wouldn't care what it was made of. It is so soft. I'm reading it now. And I'm looking around. Made in Turkey, by the way. Stylecraft Special Double, yeah, Premium Acrylic. I'm like searching around and it's right there in big letters. Yeah, my brain is so used to being off work that it doesn't even want to read anymore. But, y'all, what should I make from this? I am so tickled. I am so stinking tickled. And I was like, and I texted her, I'm like, what is this about? And she's like, surprise. <laughs> whoa and yeah but what really tripped my head was like I said literally 15 minutes before I had placed an order with wool warehouse and I was like am I in the twilight zone maybe it's the wool twilight zone who knows I don't know speaking of wool things and twilight zone things and things I just did not get done I was going to rearrange my room and put up my new cubes that I received from Miss Karen, like on my birthday. And yes, it's been two months. They're still sitting in there. They have not been done because I did absolutely zero in this room. Um, except on a pair of sheets that I absolutely adore. And I didn't do anything with any of it because we have pretty much spent the whole week on the road. Am I blaming anybody? No, I've had a fantastic time. Uh, just running the roads with the hubby, you know, meeting up with friends occasionally. It's It's been really cool. And, oh, also yesterday, I bought my tickets for Mad World. Mad World Haunted Attractions is coming up, of course, in the fall. And one day they do a pre-sale with a big discount. It used to be a 50% discount. Now it's only a 35% discount. I get it. Things have gone up. But yes, bought the tickets for Mad World, so I'm ready to go for that. I'm excited. Fall is coming. I mean, it's still a hot AF outside, but fall is coming. 
hopefully soon. Because as you as you can see, I poke myself in the eye. Hello, figure out how to use my hands today. Um, I'm glistening because it's not just because my hair is wet. It's because it's humid. Even with the AC on, it is not pleasant. Um, I just don't like the humidity, humidity and the summertime. It's just awful. There's some other crochet stuff from today. I'm looking at it to make sure I haven't forgotten anything because I kept setting stuff over here. Like, gotta remember this. Gotta remember this. The hashtag rock 2022 AU uh, make along is going on. As you can see, this is not quite completely yet. I did start weaving in the ends last night. I didn't get all the way around. A lot of ends because I change colors a lot. Uh, this is being held by Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. I will have that linked above, below, wherever. And this one is inspired by the album cover for... It's Neil Diamond. Is it Hot August Nights or something like that? It'll be at the end. I'll, I'll put something in there about it. But from the album cover for that, I just take inspiration from the colors. There will be a black border all the way around it, of course, because this will be part of my big stained glass blanket thing, which I have a ton of squares for. It's going to be a huge blanket. Oh, all of the black in this, by the way, really not showing up. It's glittery. Um, it has bling in it. Same with the red. So, yeah. Because I had those colors handy, so I used them. And I have been really enjoying putting together colors and doing that. They're coming out, um, your inspiration albums are coming out on the 1st and on the 15th of every month. And you take that album and take what inspiration from it you will. Some people are taking inspiration from the, t the title of the album or from the artist themselves or from some of the songs. Me, I'm doing colors on the album itself. And... Yes, I was hoping to be done, ran out of time last night. I was just, I was done last night. I couldn't do any more. So that is taken care of over there. Oh, and then finally, oh, and I want to have one more thing that I bought this week. Let me show you that first. I had it covered up with the crochet because apparently that's what I do. Apparently, I really like killing the enamel on my teeth. I love sour things super sour. These lollipops, suckers, lollies, whatever you call them, they're called Bon Bon Boom is like the brand bubblegum pops. I don't deal with the bubblegum. I don't really care for it. Uh, they have a bunch of different flavors of them. They have some that are just, uh, that will just change your tongue colors, which is kind of fun. They have some that are just fruity, but they also have sour. These were introduced to me by somebody at work years ago. She loves sour like I do. She's the one who will sit there and eat lemons. She and I would eat lemons and limes together because that's what we do. And she said, the thing is, you don't just eat these by themselves, although they are good. You dip them in lemon salt. Yeah. I love this. My mouth is watering just thinking about this. It is super sour. It is awful on your enamel. You can feel your enamel get kind of gummy if you eat this for a while. Um, so it's like, yeah, this will be stretched out over a long period of time. There are three bags of these in this little container on Amazon, you know, and then there's all of this. Love it. Love it a lot. Yes, it is a Mexican candy. Yes, lemon salt is a candy uh, in Mexico. Es más intenso sabor de limón. What it says right there. Um, very delicious, intense lemon flavor. And I love it. And I'm looking forward to opening this up and having some. Because it's been a while. Because I haven't had any of these in a while. They're hard to find. When we first found them, we were finding them at Dollar Tree. You know, with Dollar Tree, you never know what you're going to find there. And I always still look for them there. Um, when I get lucky... I buy as many as I can because they don't last long and there's no guarantee they're coming back. But we would scour Dollar Trees within each of our areas of where we lived. Uh, she lived like 35 miles in a different direction than I live from work. So we had a lot of area to cover with our Dollar Trees looking for our bomb bomb booms. And we would share and we would order this <laughs> and share it as well. So you got any lamb and salt? Yeah. 
Because sometimes when you're at work, you just need some. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I might have that for breakfast. Or not. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Now, finally. Finally! Last, but certainly not least. My temperature blanket. Oh. Look at the dark colors in this sucker. Down at the bottom here. The only light one is where the eight starts, and that's it. Every single square that I have made since then, and it's not a full, even a full week yet, um, has been either this one or this one. That's it. Nothing but hotness. I am looking forward to the fall when I can get back to some of the medium teal colors again and add those to my little blanket. And um, I just, I will probably make another temperature project next year. I've had so much fun with this and just doing the thing. I'll probably do it differently so that I don't have a duplicate, you know, or maybe I'll do it the same and just do it in a different color family. Hmm. That's an idea, but maybe not. Anyway, temperature blanket. Pew. I love being able to throw stuff and know it's going to be safe. It's landing on the bed over there. <laughs> Anything else that I'm forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I am forgetting something. I'm going to pause this because I have to go in the other room and get it. Okay. And for you, it was a second. For me, it was a little longer. Look what the hubby got for me. It's an air popcorn popper. I love popcorn. Looks kind of like an alien on, you know, one of those TV shows. Take me to your leader. Whatever. Um, I love popcorn. Matter of fact, I'm out of popcorn. Yay. But, uh... He ordered this for me because he wanted me to have something that was easier to clean and easier to keep up with. And this will do that because the other one I had before was like a spin pop, um, a big contraption with a big bowl. This, you put your bowl under it. It doesn't cook as much at once, but that's okay. And I'm tickled. I have not used it yet because I'm out of popcorn and it just came in today. Otherwise, there would already have been popcorn made. I'm just saying. So, yes. Thank you to my, it was his birthday and he ordered me something. Cause that's how he is. He's so sweet. Anyway, thank y'all for coming by. Stay tuned for a little slideshow. There'll be more kitty stuff in there as well as whatever else I stick in there. I may go outside and take pictures of my plants. I may not. It just depends. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.